I think that the, the concept of Kukanagashi is kind of like, I want to just clear everything off of me. If he comes to push, you know, here, I want to clear this up. Now, now this is nothing more than just being surprised, because ideally, I don't want to be in a position to, to have to, uh, <coughs> to turn. It's, it's, uh, it's pointless. I don't think that turning is a good idea, unless, obviously, you have a multiple attack. So in this one-person attack, I just want to kind of clear this up. Now, the way that I brought this up really super slow is my elbow first, here, to here. So Ukenagashi doesn't necessarily have to be way up here, but in doing this, this exercise where we're just going to do the turn, that's why I bring this elbow up, because too many people come here. And <coughs> If you do this technique your own way, as long as you get out of there, it doesn't matter how high your elbow is, I do this. In showing this technique here. Why? Because everybody that's seen this technique and who does it themselves does this. So they need to see the exaggeration. Whether or not I'm going to do that in an actual event, I don't know. But I think this idea of, one thing that we didn't talk about yesterday was the idea of really slowly collapsing. <clears throat> and I don't feel this when I train with Paul and I've trained with some other people and I don't feel this either. The, the evasive maneuver that he does is so good that he doesn't have to necessarily make this collapse. But I just let this kind of collapse here. It's, it's almost like bringing it in. Just like this. It's not this. Here. And Ukenagashi is not this. Here. It's it's making it so he doesn't feel like, like he's like he feels like boom, I got it still. This collapses here. With him. He almost feels no pressure on his arms as he's coming in. I think that's what the founder did. I mean, for whatever little thing that I can do that um, that I believe he did because I never I never trained with him, I never saw him, I never felt this from him. But I can only see what's been passed to me from people who were, did train with him. Now this is three, four, five generations ago, but and what I see is he could do this. Just letting somebody go by him without powering them by. In a slow practice, I can do that. Does that mean that that happens when I'm going full speed and when he's going full speed? I'm probably going to be a little more uh, muscular. I'm probably going to be a little uh, more rattled. I'm not going to be as calm. I mean, this is I'm theorizing because if there is a if there is a serious attack on his part, I want to be able to do I want to be able to do this as much like my Aikido practice here as possible. I want to make it not this. Right? I don't want to make it that. And that's another exaggeration. I think I teach well for exaggeration. But um, So, backing up a little bit, I don't want to do this. Right? I don't want to do this. <coughs> what I do want to do is this. Right? But, am I going to have that calm? Maybe. Maybe not. If I practice all my muscle memory and try and get the softest I possibly can in here where I know he's not trying to kill me and he's going slow, what better opportunity do I have to do that? I don't, there's no reason for me, as he comes, <laughs> you know, there's no reason for me to do this. There's no reason for me to freak out because all he's telling me is, I'm just going to put my hands in the chest. I'm giving you the opportunity to do the technique. He's giving me the opportunity to do this well. And if I practice doing it well, often enough, there is a, more, a greater likelihood that if I ever have to be faced with it, that I'm going to do it better. I'm not going to do it great. I'm just going to do it better than I would have if I didn't address this issue here, where he is being for me. And he's practicing for me. So, how did we get here? Okay, gosh. So, in that exaggeration, uh, yeah, I, it, the, is it going to look like that? Probably not, because I'm not going to take in turn. I want to come in 
don't know where my elbow landed on that. Where did it go? I don't know. <laughs> where did it go? Okay. Well, it wasn't here, right? Because that would have compromised my posture. Yes? Okay. So it was almost like... Sorry. Okay. So the slip happens here. Not here. And if I had my druthers, that would be before the turn. Or this. Here. The turn is a ditch. Get them off me. Ditch them off me. And when you're doing Thai Sabaki or something like that, sometimes you need to turn. Because you need to look at somebody else that's coming at you. So, um, again, in terms of opening yourself up, let's exaggerate this for this class only. What you do when you go outside, that's fine. Do it my way today. And then do it your own way when you leave. But exaggerate this because I think that you cover more by doing it this way. And he shouldn't feel anything but just a whisper going by. At this speed, he shouldn't feel anything but a whisper going by. Nothing like 